Our God and our Father, we are so grateful this morning. We give you praise and we give you honor for whom you are, O Jehovah God. Thank you for blessing us since we entered in this place, our Father. And because it has come yet another time, O Jehovah God, for us to listen from you, O King of glory. May you speak to us this morning. May you minister unto us, our Father. May you send your word, O King of glory, to do that which God you want it to, to do in our lives, our Father. May you bless us, O Lord. Use me as your vessel and let your will be done. In Jesus' name we pray and we give thanks. We all say... Amen. Tunaweza kuketi. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. Amen. Amen. My name is Mugure Wakamura. I am a born again Christian. I love the Lord so, so much as my personal savior. I am blessed and delighted to be back in Gateway. It has been a long time, uh, but I thank God because of this opportunity. Thank you very much, Mchugaji for inviting me to come today and fellowship with us and share the word of God. It's only that things come up and I'm, I'm unable to come. I'm happy to see all of you. You are my friends and I am happy you are blessed. And thank you for the wonderful ministration in this parish. And we thank God you are doing very well. Keep the fire burning. And uh, may the Lord con God continue to bless you and even to do the great things that you are doing in uh, Gateway Parish. Mimi bado niko kule thome, and we are praising God for that. My minister is on leave, but currently I'm with Reverend uh, Chege, and we are thankful to God. Uh, those who are, uh, those, they, are, they are people who are good in counting numbers, and uh, they believe in numbers, and they... They tell us that number nine means giving birth. And this September, it is a month of giving birth. Praise be to God. And we are thankful to God because uh, uh, the, the, the Nendeni week comes in the month of September. And we have a wonderful theme that is leading us. And as we focus on this theme, it is also good to tell the Lord, it is my time and my season to give birth. There are many things that we've been trusting God for. There are many things that we've been waiting God to do in our lives. There are many prayers we have presented before God. And we are telling our Father, by faith, this is our month to give birth. Praise be to God. Or even if you kujinya kulia, and you tell the Lord in this month of September, in the year 2024, it is my year to receive that which I have been waiting from our Father. We have a wonderful theme that is leading us in this Nendeni uh, uh, week and actually in our general assembly, that it is our time to choose to serve the Lord. And this is what I also have come to tell all of us, serve the Lord. If you have a neighbor, tell them, serve the Lord. I know it is not the first time you are hearing this word. Like in your parish, you have been having, as it has been explained to us, you have been having revivals, door-to-door, -door, crusades, and you have been taught this word. And today I have come to... Put that stamp and tell you, serve the Lord. You know, it is about choosing. But now it is serving the Lord or serving the Lord. We do not have any other option. Amen. A story of Joshua. Joshua is a man of God, was a man of God. Joshua served the Lord with a lot of passion. And Joshua's story started all the way from the days of Moses. The Bible says that Joshua served as an aide to Moses. And the time that God was calling Moses, I love the calling of Moses. Because Moses was called a time when the Israelites, the people of God, the people whom God had chosen, the people whom God said, they are my children. They were suffering in Egypt. They were under slavery. And the Bible says that God called Moses after he saw the cry of his people. And actually the Bible says, 
says the book of Exodus chapter number 3, he did not only see the crying of the people, but he also heard their, mourn, um, their mourning and their groaning and their crying. And he told Moses, because I have seen, I have heard, now I have come. And whenever I come, I must act. Praise be to God. And that is one thing I love about my God, because he's a God who sees, he is a God who hears, he is a God who comes, and whenever he comes, he performs miracles and things do not remain the same again. And so he called Moses and he told him, I want you to go and deliver the Israelites from uh, the, the slavery land that is Egypt. And all this time, Moses was working with Joshua, uh, his assistant. Actually, Joshua was among the men who were the spies who went to the promised land to do some spying there and to check the land that they were about to go. He's among those guys who brought the good report to, to, to Moses and to the Israelites. The others brought a negative report. But for, Moses, uh, for Joshua and Caleb, they brought a positive report. So he saw everything that the Israelites underwent. Joshua was among the Israelites when they came from the land of slavery, that is Egypt. The Bible says they went to the wilderness where they stayed for 40 years. And this is where the Lord came to them. Akamwambia Moses, you have dwelt in this place, in this mountain, in this wilderness for long. And you have not attained what I promised you. You have not gotten into the promised land. It is your time to break camp and advance. Joshua was among those people. They went and they conquered the promised land. Now this time Moses had died. The calling of Joshua came. Joshua was called by God and God out of uh, the many people who worked with Moses. God chose Joshua because he remained faithful. He was a good man. He, uh, he, he became so faithful in serving together with Moses. And the Bible says when God called Joshua, Joshua, because of the journey he had and went together with Moses, he knew it was not an easy job. He knew that, that the Israelites were not easy people to deal with. He said there are people who are stiff naked. They are very hard. People who have seen miracles being performed. People who have been delivered by God himself. People who have been receiving healing. People who have heard the voice of God speaking to them like live life. But they could reach a point and they betray this God. They forget about this God and they get their own gods. Yet they had seen what the living God did to them. So Joshua thought, these people are not easy to lead. But God told Joshua, be strong and very courageous. Because I will go before you. I will fight the battles for you. It is not you to take the Israelites to the land, the promised land. But I will go ahead of you. And so Joshua took up the task, and he fought together with the Israelites. They were able to enter into the promised land. And at this juncture, in chapter number 24, where Joshua had done a lot of work, where Joshua was only few days to die, this is the time now he's calling the Israelites. After working with them, after God walking the journey with them and fulfilling his promises to them, he called them and he gathered them and he reminded them the things that God, our Father, had done to them. Akajaribu kuwakumusha yale mambo yote mungu alikuwa mewafanyia. He could remind them, this God brought you out of Egypt where you were suffering, where you were slaves, but God delivered you from them. I think the Israelites, they, were, they, 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 they had hard hearts. They, it was not easy for them to follow Jesus faithfully or follow God faithfully. 
it was very hard for them to have one God. And so Joshua was worried. I'm about to die. I must remind these people that they need to follow this God. Because all these years, they have seen the many things God has done to them. They have been delivered by God himself. Yet, they keep on forgetting the good things God had done to them. So Joshua decided, let me remind you, brothers and sisters, it is this God who performed miracles. It is this God who brought plagues. And you saw with your eyes, and God delivered you from them. It is this God who took you from the wilderness. I know you are in the promised land, but you have forgotten him. Your forefathers, ah, they, they, they had other gods. But for you, you have been, you have seen the miracles that your father, our living God, have done to you. And that is why he decided to tell them, if it is evil in your eyes to serve the living God, go ahead and serve other gods. But if you see it good and wise to serve the living Father, go ahead and serve the Lord. And you know Joshua had inherited, I think the, Moses was a hot-tempered guy. Remember when he was given the Ten Commandments and asomea the Israelites? Alafu wanapata they are worshipping other gods and angusha hizo ma Ten Commandments. He was a hot-tempered person. Anachukua kijiti anagonga ile mawe because he had a he was hot tempered. So I think Joshua somehow he had inherited this ka spirit. Na kafika mahali akasema, if you feel you not worship this God, if you find it not well to serve him, well and good. Choose whoever you want to serve. But as for me and my house, we will serve the living God. Praise be to God. And this is what the Lord is calling us to. We have seen God delivering his promises from ages to ages. There are many things that the Lord has done to us. But because we are human beings like the Israelites, we keep on forgetting. We keep on breaking the covenant we made with our father. Some of us, even when we were looking for jobs, we told God, God, if you, if you give me this opportunity, my first salary will be yours. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Thank God he understands. But he also comes to an end. Hallelujah. There are many promises. There are many covenants we have done with our father. If you give me a family, I will serve you with my whole heart. God, anakupatia your family and kind of you forget. God, if you open this door for me, if you do this for my children, Jehovah will never miss church service. And you know God is a faithful father. He does unto us. Who are we? Tunasahau. Si mungu ni yule yule tu. Ask your neighbor, how many promises have we made with our, to, to our father, the covenant we have made with our father, and we have forgotten. Some of us, we have prayed when we were sick, and we told our father, if you heal me of this sickness, I will keep on praising your name. Today, I, the Lord is telling us, it is our time to choose to serve our father. Whether he has done it or not, I will serve this God. Whether he has answered our prayers or not, we will serve this Jehovah because he's a faithful God. Sisi ndiyo huwa tunatoka kwa njia zake. Yeye haundoki. Hallelujah. And so it is not about the benefits we get from this God. I want to believe this is what Joshua was trying to draw home. It is not about delivering you from the land of slavery. He has remained to be God. Brothers and sisters, serve the Lord. It is not about where he has brought. It is not bad to be happy and to rejoice and to praise God and to serve him because of the things that he has done to us. But in this calling of Joshua, he is reminding us it is our time to choose to serve God whether he has done it or not. 
After all, he remains to be God. He can decide to give unto us, and he can decide not to give. He can decide to heal us, and he can decide not to heal us. And he remains to be God. Na hakuna kitu utafanya. Kwani iko nini? Wana sifiwe. So it is, us, it is us to decide we are going to serve the Lord. Joshua said, I and my house, we will serve the Lord. And you know, I said, Joshua was about to die. Actually, at the end of that chapter of 24, the Bible talks of the death of Joshua. So even in the grave, he knew, yes, I'm about to die. I have served God for the past days and past years. But my time to die is about to come. But even in death, I and my household, we will serve the Lord. So we are not serving the Lord because we are alive. Even when death approaches, we will still serve this God. Hallelujah. And uh, in the book of Luke, when Jesus was calling people and he was telling them and disciples that if you want to follow me, if you want to serve me, you must put aside everything else. Take up your cross and follow me. Taking up your cross is paying the cost. You decide. Even though others are going to decide otherwise, I will decide to follow Christ. I will take up my cross and walk the journey. Nitabeba msalaba wangu na nimufate huyu Yesu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I pray, when I was thinking and uh, meditating upon this word, I was asking myself, we have men in the house, men praise the Lord. Can we have men who can stand and say, because Joshua, those days in the Old Testament, Walikuwa wana, the, 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 the men were, the, the head of the house was really taken, it was really taken a very big position. They were in authority. Not that today they are not in authority. Lakini kuna vile. Tuko tu, buwana asifiwe. So I was asking myself, can we have Joshua's of today? And they declare, I and my house, we will follow Christ. Na unasukuma hao watu wako unawambia, it is time to serve our father. We have done other many things. We have achieved other things. But now, me and my house, we will serve our father. We will take up our cross and walk the journey. Hallelujah. I pray that we have those men who will stand out and say, I and my family, I and my household, we will serve the Lord. Four important things that I want to mention as we decide to serve the Lord. Number one is that fear the Lord. One thing that Joshua had is the fear of God. These people, they walked together with them. They saw God performing miracles in many ways. He witnessed the doings of our father. But one thing they, um, uh, Joshua had, he had the fear of God. Actually, that is the reason why God decided, because now Moses have died, I will uplift Joshua to take the people of Israel to the promised land. When we serve God with fear and reverence, then the Lord will take us to greater heights. The Lord will make us great vessels. The Lord will make good use of us because we have the fear of the Lord. One thing the Israelites lacked, they didn't have that fear of God. And your mana walikuwa wanafika mahali, wanajitengenezea tumiungu. Wanafika mahali, wanatengeneza tuzanamu. Because wanasahau sana. People who forget because they lack, those people who keep on forgetting, it is because the fear of God is no longer in them. I have come to tell us this morning, may you fear the Lord. Have reverence for God. When God calls us to serve, he does not call us because we are qualified. He does not call us because we have the best experience. By the way, to what Nasema, the Lord uses the blunt pangas. Blunt pangas. 
When he calls us, he qualifies us. He equips us for his service. So do not fear. Do not be afraid. Do not hold back. Come the way you are and serve the Lord. The fear of the Lord. Fear in Asema Yakwamba, when we fear God, you know some of us, we are born again, but we do not have the fear of God. And that is why we keep on sinning. I always tell people that wakati uliokoka, or when we got, we got born again, nothing literally changed, as in physically. If I was short, I remained short. If you were brown, you didn't become dark, because you've, you've got, gotten born again. Kama ulikuwa mtu wa mkono murefu, mkutuwa mkono murefu ni mwizi, mkono haukatwi, the hand still remains. There is something inside you that tells you, now I am no longer the same Mogore, I am a new Mogore. The old is gone and the new has come. I am a new creature. So what happens is that I develop the fear that comes from God. Number two, serve him with faithfulness. Joshua served God with a lot of faithfulness. He remained loyal to the service of God. Even from the times of Moses, he was so loyal. He was so faithful. When they went to spy the land, he brought a positive report because he was so faithful. When Gina Walisema other things, others gave discouraging news. But for Joshua decided, out of his faithfulness, I will give a positive report. As we decide to serve this God, serve him with faithfulness. The Bible says the Lord rewards the faithfulness of his people. So when we remain faithful, he becomes faithful to us. Tell your neighbor, serve the Lord with faithfulness. Because God himself is faithful. He is faithful. He fulfills his promises to us. And then the other thing is that we ought to put away every foreign God that is amongst us. Zile miungu zote tukonazo. In the month of June, when we had the Umas Guild Week, the theme was seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. All other things shall be added unto us. Yani tutafute ufalme wa mungu kwanza. Yale mengine yote yatafuatilia. And this is what we are saying. Put aside all other things. All other gods. We seek this God, his kingdom, and his righteousness. Anything else that we require of him, it shall be added unto us. Anything that is a God in your life, anything that comes first in your life, it is a zanamu, iondolewe. Ile shida hawa watu walikuwa now the Israelites is that they really loved your story ya miungu kuabudu hizo zanamu, but they forgot. Hizo zanamu, hakuna mahali zita wapeleka. Even in our lives, we might not have physical, those the, those gods, iso, iso statues. But there are many things that we have prioritized. There are many things that have hindered us to serve the Lord. Some of us, tunachuklia mambo yetu sana. Our businesses, our jobs, our wealth, our riches, our families. There are many things that we have given the first priorities. Na zina kuja, zina, 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 zina toa mungu kwa position yake. The Lord is telling us as we serve him, we need to get rid of any foreign God that is amongst ourselves. Praise be to God. And then we take up the cross. Tuchukua msalaba. And then the fourth thing, it is serve the Lord. And that is my message. Serve the Lord. Hauna choice ingine, but to serve the Lord. We do not have a long time to live here on earth. And the short time that we have, we better use it to serve the Lord. When you get into the land or into the shamba of our Father, when you get into the vineyard of this God, he comes to your land. Uwa tunambiwa, ukingia kwa ke na jembe, wako anakuja na karagita, a tractor. And you cannot compare jembe's work 
and tractors work. Tractor is much. So I urge all of us brothers and sisters, as we decide to follow Christ at such a time when challenges are there, when troubles are there, when there are ups and downs, when the economy is not very favoring to us, when things are not going the way we want them to go, we take charge and say, we will serve the Lord. Elijah, when they were offering a sacrifice to God, na wale watu ambao walikuwa wanatoa uh, wanafanyia wana wanaabudu the Baal, the God of Baal, the prophets of Baal, when they were offering a sacrifice, Elijah told them, it is our time now to choose which God to serve. If Baal is God, we will serve him. And if the living God is the right God, we will serve him. And for sure, God proved to them that he is the true God. Praise be to God. Let not circumstance force you. kuna watu Kabisa. And when they are about to die, they are telling God, God, when you heal me, I will serve you. And yes, they are healed. And this is the time they are coming to serve the Lord. When they are weak, when they are not strong, the Lord is calling us at this point and telling us, serve me. And I will go together with you. When you give yourself to the Lord, he goes the journey with you. There was a man who was forced to serve God. A story that is told, as I wind up, a story that is told of a man who was really forced by circumstance to serve God. And I don't want us to reach that point when the Lord is calling us at such a time that I call you to serve me. At whatever point you are in, Joshua was at a point of death, but he decided, I and my household, we will serve the Lord. So this man had really alikuwa me mchukulia mungu viraisi sana. And he was really challenging God's creation. And he could look at things and he's like, kwani hui mungu nwaina gani? He's a God who doesn't have plan. When he was doing the creation, hakuwa na mpango, kwani alikuwa nafikiria aje? So one time, he visited a shamba. And uh, this shamba there was a big tree, a large tree, yeah, avocado, you know, avocado tree. Avocado, sometimes, especially these ones for kienyeji, they are usually big, but of course they give that fruit avocado. Then the same shamba there were watermelons. And you know a watermelon comes from a very thick, a thin, weak, Vine. Hata kaweza simama, kanalala tu chini. Hata kaweza jisimamisha, kanalala tu chini. And then now it produces a big fruit. So he was asking himself, where God huna mpango? How ungefanya hii mti kubwa? Isaiah hii kima tuda kubwa. And then this small plant to produce these small fruits. Then I got a captain kumwonyesha utajua hujui. So there was a lot of sun and this man felt I want to take a, a rest under a tree. Nipata hiyo shade and he went under that big tree. Akalala pale. Hivi akiangalia juu. And when he was resting there an over, an, an avocado came from up there. And he hit his forehead. Bam! And this guy was like, Whoa! Luckily enough, this avocado had like rotten. So it was not like fresh and hard. So he limugonga ika splash on the, on the face. And he was like, Wow! See God where unampango. <laughs> if it were for this watermelon, I could have died. And so he said, I will serve this God. I appreciate you, God. For sure you are the true God. I come to charge all of us. Don't wait to be forced by circumstance. Serve the Lord. Me and my household, we will serve the Lord.
close your eyes for a minute. Tell God thank you because of his word. There are many times we have broken the covenant with our maker. There are many promises we made to our father. And we told him when you do this, our father to us, we will serve you. But we have not done this. We have broken the covenant. Tell God to forgive you. Tell the Lord we are sorry for this. We tell God we want to serve you from today. Because the Lord you have spoken, I want to serve you. I want to use my gifts and my talents in your service. I want to use my resources in your service. I want to go for you because Jehovah you are calling us. We want to stand in the gap. We will be prayerful. We will get rid of the foreign gods that we have among us ourselves. We will become readers of the word of God. We will become encouragers to others. We will go for this God. But we will go because he has called us. It doesn't matter where, whether you have the know-how, the Lord will equip, will equip you. The Lord will go to the journey with you. Tell the Lord I will serve you. I decide to serve you with faithfulness. Our God and our Father, we are so grateful once again. Thank you because that at such a time you are calling us to your vineyard and even to your work to serve you, O King of Glory. We want to say and to declare like Joshua, we and our families and our households, Jehovah, we will serve you. There are many times we promised to serve you, but we failed. And because of your grace and love, our Father, may you forgive us. And now, Jehovah God, because you have called us once again, we want to say we will serve you. In our weaknesses, we will serve you. In our strength, we will serve you, Jehovah. With our wealth, we will serve you. In our luck, we will serve you, Jehovah. In good and in bad times, we will serve you, our Father. In our health, in our good health times, in our weaknesses, in our sicknesses, we will serve you. Even at a point of death, our Father, we will serve you. Them that belong to our households and that they have not known you, Jehovah God, we call them to your kingdom. Because this kingdom belongs to you, to us, and to them, O oh God. Your kingdom belongs to all of us. And so, our Father, help us to serve you. Help us to commit ourselves. Help us to be faithful in your service. Bless our endeavors. As we trust you, Jehovah God, for giving birth in the many things we've been trusting you for, as we trust you to open doors for us and avenues, our Father, as we trust you for healings, as we trust you for opportunities and doors to open, into your hands we commit our lives. Bless all of us together. Bless this church, this parish, the leadership and the membership of our Father. And bless the land of Kenya. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray. May the Lord God bless you as we serve him.